The Canucks just signed Pius Suter, and don't worry, we got Trevor Beggs on the phone. We're going to talk about it in one, two, three. Let's go. Your Locked On Canucks, your daily podcast on the Vancouver Canucks. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Locked On Canucks. My name is Kyle Bowen. We do have Trevor Beggs here on the phone. Emergency episode because the Canucks have just signed Pius Suter to a deal. I think it's a two-year deal worth 1.6 per. Uh, Let me confirm on that. Uh, Beggsy, you normally introduce the show. Uh, Do I have to say anything else or can we just get right into this conversation? Because I got questions, man. Let's just get right into it and quickly say, Locked On Canucks, your team every day. Thanks for tuning in. We appreciate all of you from the everydayers to the first-time listeners. Pius Suter, what is it, two years, $1.6 million. Let's go, baby. That's why you go bargain bin shopping in the summer, okay? Pius Suter, he was valued at around $3 million by uh, most analytical models. Um, had a bit of a down year last season, but he's been around a half point per game player. So to get Pius Suter on a two-year $1.6 million deal, uh, it's a great piece of business. I mean, Pius Suter is a better player than Teddy Bluger, and they have him in a lower cap fit. So, um, it, honestly, a surprising move in the sense that, you know, Kyle and I, you and I talked about this a couple episodes ago, how the Canucks hadn't made a transaction in August since 2015. But it's new times, okay? Patrick Alvin's in charge. The Canucks are bargain bin shopping, making smart moves. Let's go, baby. Let's go. And uh, I got to ask you this. Uh, why do you think Pius Suter picked Vancouver because uh, you're saying the analytics said, oh, this guy could make it, be making three three uh, million per year. I'm sure this offer of 1.6 over two years was kind of similar to other offers he might have got. Uh, why do you think he chose Vancouver? I think there's opportunity in Vancouver for Pius Suter. You know, uh, the center depth obviously is not fantastic with this team. I think, you know, JT Miller, Elias Pedersen locked in as your, as your one-two. Um, but after that, it's uh, who knows what's going to happen, right? Teddy Bluger was penciled in as a third line center. I think now you kind of slot everyone more appropriately, right? You have Pius Suter probably as your third line center, and Bluger and Amon can battle up for that fourth line center spot. I think on paper, that leads to a more balanced Canucks lineup. Pius Suter is known to produce a bit more offense, and it gives the Canucks some depth, right? Like, what if any of Pet- like if Patterson and Miller get injured? All, you know, all, all, all bets are off, but. You know, if Bluger gets injured, if Amon gets injured, next thing you know, it's like Sheldon drives is back to being your third line center. And for a Canucks team that, you know, next season matters, you know, it's playoffs or bust. You can't have Sheldon drives your third line center again. No offense to Sheldon drives, but they needed to improve their center depth. And again, I think Pius Suter, you know, even before July 1st hit, was one of the best options on the market. The fact that the Canucks snagged him on August 11th is a great piece of business by Patrick Alvin. And good note on the date because I, I think uh, a lot of pundits, a lot of people inside of hockey, a lot of fans here on the West Coast, the best coast, uh, could uh, reiterate all the things you just said about the Canucks needing depth. They need, they need more to uh, confirm their position in the, the the Pacific Division. Okay, for real, because next season really matters. And they waited, they waited, and, and they've been pretty cheap with a lot of the deals they have been signing outside of the Ilya Mikheyev deal. I mean, this year it's been a bit of bargain. Hunt and I guess Carson Schutz got paid his value, but uh, with Teddy Bluger and all that stuff, one year deals with Ian Cole as well, just doing it a different way than what we've been used to in the past. And I'm only bringing this up because I truly believe that Jim Benning would have signed this deal in July and would have given Pius Suter his quote unquote worth. Uh, this is some tidy piece of business again from this management group, and it's given me some confidence. It's also given me uh, more. Uh, more confidence in this whole uh, sign Pedersen thing. I really, really do think, and I know this sounds crazy because it's about winning games and winning Stanley Cups uh, next year. Theoretically speaking, the the Stanley Cup is signing Elias Pedersen, right? The Canucks are not a contender. They got to take the next step. They got to succeed, and they got to succeed right away, and they got to prove to Pedersen that, yo, they're committed to winning. They're committed to getting better. And, yeah, the, when I look at a signing like this, it, it helps It helps negotiations, okay? Let's say the, the Canucks don't sign Pedersen this offseason. We only got like a month and change left. I don't think it's going to happen during training camp, but if they get off to a good start in October and November and they can prove to Pedersen that, yo, we're taking things seriously and we can win games, that deal can get done. Am I talking a bit of nonsense here or are these things kind of related? 
Uh, I wouldn't say you're talking nonsense. No, it's um, when you think in a nutshell about like, oh, they signed Pius Suter, it's going to help them sign Patterson. Like, it seems a bit far fetched, but at the end of the day, like, I see your point, right? Winning games matters. Mm-hmm. Pius Suter theoretically is going to help this team win games. Uh, you know, he was one of the better penalty killers out of the market. Ooh. We all know that the Canucks penalty kill has been one of the worst in the league for a long time. And now with, with Bluger, with Suter, with Mikhaev, you know, theoretically, this penalty kill should be better. I mean, uh, Ian Cole was a great penalty killer last year, too. So, you know, these are all things that should make a difference in the Canucks lineup. And, uh, again, it's just still a bubble team at best. And Heiser, you know, doesn't change that. Um, but at the end of the day, he's, uh, he's a good player, and he makes this Canucks, the Canucks a better team right now and at a good value. And at a good value. A lot of a lot of positivity, man. Uh, yo, I- I'm, I'm, I'm startled, okay? I didn't think the Canucks would – you know, add a guy like Pius at, at this stage in the summer. I still feel as if uh, there's so many other things that this team needs to do with their cap situation, but here they are confident. They're confident that they're going to be able to manipulate the cap and get under the cap and do their things. And also uh, they're, they're confident that they, they're going to ice a good hockey team next season for real. I know there's still some question marks on defense, but this team is a lot better than it was at the start of last season, last October, and I feel as if they didn't really put themselves in a position to regret a lot of these signings. Like things are different, uh, but for real. It's going for man. It's going to be. Hey, you know, it's Friday. The sun is shining. You know, I gotta get out of here, man. I gotta get out of here. Okay, enough cannot talk on a Friday, buddy. But uh, I'm excited. Okay, man. Thanks for uh, thanks for your input. I'm gonna sign out here too. I got I got things to do, but we have to, you know, go on a little spiel for the people, right? Locked on Canucks, your team every day. My name Kyle Bound. That's Trevor Bags. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and uh, you know, leave us a review wherever you stream this podcast. I'm normally not doing the outro, so I don't really know how to do this. But again, it's your team every day. Have a good morning, a good afternoon, a good night. Yo, Pius Suter is a Vancouver Canuck, and I'm gonna say it right now: uh, the Canucks are going to make the playoffs next season okay on that friday energy Woo-hoo! baby because you said it, you said it on that conversation with that san jose sharks uh locked on what's the dude's name i, I don't want to disrespect him what's his name oh from locked on sharks yeah jd young there you uh, jd young uh, did i say that right you said it's playoff for playoffs or bust and i think the canucks are aligned with that as well make the playoffs sign Pedersen, and have a great friday peace